painting ships with big shapes I think this is one of the easier tutorial uh, basically just to paint a simple pasture I have to apologize for the quality of the uh, video because I don't think my camera was uh, actually focusing on the paper but I think you get the idea uh, in any case, sometimes um, blurry images may actually help because uh, you know we don't then worry about the specific of it. In any, the way I draw uh, the ship, basically I focus on a broad shape, the key outline, um, and also I note uh, how uh, the shadows uh, of the ship is. It, it has a very strong shadow, which is very good. Uh, because you know not not often you have images or uh, where the shadows are, are strong and allows you to you know even draw the shape of the shadow um, I don't intend to color the whole thing green I just want to make sort of a, a blob or somewhat of an oval shape covering the shape uh, I use mirrored uh, of uh, green I don't necessarily mix them up uh, in that sense there's a dash of uh, burnt sienna uh, with a light green um, you, you can use any green yellowish green and uh, and then mix it with a bit of uh, brown that will give you the ver variety of green that you need uh, for this sort of sketch uh, basically it's a combination of green and brown uh, as you notice I, I start straight with a very dark shape I go for the uh, the, the, uh, the shape of the, the shadows and um, that gives it the form uh, that gives the shape, the shape of the animal, somewhat of a three-dimension uh, feel to it. Uh, and I start with the uh, the underbelly or the the, the under underside of the, the animal, uh, including you know using the same color uh, and value, uh, the the shadow itself, and that gives it a bit of a three-dimensional pop, uh, if you like, of uh, the uh, the two animal. So here we go. Very simple sort of shape. What we're gonna do now is to um, continue to sculpt the three-dimensional feel to the body and uh, uh, the, uh, the the shape itself. What I do is basically put a bit of brown, light brown, uh, you know, giving it a bit of a form, uh, making it feel like a barrel, if you like, uh, the, the torso or the body of the body part of uh, the shape. Uh, you know, keeping in mind at all time, making it readable uh, as if it's sort of rotund or round. Same thing with uh, the one at the back. And, uh, the belly has to be somewhat of a, uh, you know, round and, and using light brown to just sculpt uh, the, the, the two animals. Remember, you're painting on two-dimensional paper, but actually, it's uh, you know by softening some of the edges, you can make it feel like as if it's uh, three-dimensional. Again, this is just a bit of a feeling. Make sure you don't color the whole thing, because uh, that will just damage the whole idea of uh, trying to make uh, the sheep three-dimensional. So, as you can see, it's a very, very simple way of capturing uh, something on the field. Uh, although this is from uh, a photo, uh, thanks to Chit Singh, a good friend, uh, who, you know, in the, our Sunday sketcher in Singapore, we, we share this uh, and we were basically just, uh, you know, painting on Sunday. Um, but anyway, the whole idea is really just to create more of a three dimensional shape at this point. Uh, a bit more dark. Even in dark, you can see that there are parts where it's darker than dark. You know? uh, maybe in a scale of 1 to 5, more towards 5. Whereas the, the dark, when it dries, has fallen to a, a 3, uh, maybe a 4. But that, that was give us an opportunity to create a bit more uh, depth or uh, even more three-dimensional feel to the whole sketch. And that's it, you know, it's a uh, very simple um, more like 20 minute sketch uh, you could probably do this on a few without having too much uh, stress uh, in terms of time uh, I'm sure by the time you, you sketch halfway the ship would have moved and, and uh, you would have, <laughs> have to uh, use your imagination to finish uh, 
the job. So here you go, put my name and I hope you enjoy that. That's a very simple uh, you know, sketch of a couple of sheep in the, in the pasture. Uh, if you like this sort of uh, simple, easy, quick tutorial watercolor, please make sure you subscribe. It helps me a lot. Thank you.